Persian, imported yeah. cottons and important wools from different countries like South America, certain European countries. That's the best way to go. And you can, I, I bought a lot of my clothes in, in second-hand stores that are imported that somebody turned in simply because of the comfort factor. It's like I'm having, I have a cotton coat on or wool coat on today, but at least it's natural, you know, and cotton pants. They may wrinkle, but they, they feel good, you know. Clothing is very important. People don't realize that. The average person is so in, unsensitized right now by the environment that he lives in or she lives in, they're not even aware of the effects of clothing anymore. Okay? Yeah, question. Okay, I could give you, you know, some things that I have done because I've made my contribution. You know, I'm working on that now. And uh, a lot of people laugh at the pyramid, right? But, a hundred, but several hundred thousand people are wearing it. I'll show you just briefly, real fast, what a pyramid could do. Could I have somebody up here for muscle testing just real quick? Okay, come on up. Now, everybody knows what sugar does, right? Okay, you know what sugar does? Sugar is 12 carbon atoms, okay? During the day, you probably eat about, oh, probably a couple quarts of sugar, not knowing it. And what happens is it produces ethanol. You go from 12 carbon atoms nine carbon atoms, ethanol, six carbon atoms, and your body utilizes five carbon atoms. So sugar in your body produces alcohol. If you drink a soda pop here, whatever, you end up getting alcohol on the brain. People don't even realize it. The, bra the body then breaks it down to acetic acid and it goes out. But sugar in the process, electronically, first goes into your body and causes a short circuit in the pancreas. So this could be measured by just touching the sugar. You don't have to ingest it. It has an effect on you when you touch it. Okay. Now this can represent any toxin. This could be a, a, a piece of uh, a, a, one of these, you know, markers that we use, for example. Or it could be a cup of coffee. It doesn't really matter. Okay, put your arm out. Now. Straight out. Make a fist. Resist. Let's turn over this way. I resist when I push down. Resist. Okay. Strength level. Now the pyramid on. I mean the sugar here. Now resist. Feel the difference? It's a lot weaker. Uh, you just put this on your head now. It looks funny, right? It's a dunce cap. Now put your arm back out. Now resist. See the difference? It looks stronger. So what did the pyramid do? Very simple. When your body produces electricity, you need electricity to go in your nervous system, right? So all the pyramid does is gather the, you know, the magnetic energy that turns the compass to the north, right? A tremendous amount of your energy is having to produce electricity. But now we eat sugar, processed food, junk food, and pesticide, preservatives, you know, monosodium glutamate, everything is in there. It blocks the body's process to produce electricity. So the pyramid helps on that level. So that's one thing you can do. If your ego can't handle it, don't even think about it. You have to deal with the ego on that level. Okay? So pyramid energy is one form of energy that helps. Nutrition. All right, what I have done, I have produced some formulas. I have formulated a thing called the Global 2000, which has 54 ingredients in it. I, did, I, I brought flash oxidation out. Now, flash oxidation is a vitamin C formula that I was able to work on with a few other people. Now, what flash oxidation means is instant vitamin C on the body. It was discovered by uh, Dr. Klenner in Reedsville, North Carolina. A lady came in, or as a man came in, he'd been butt bitten by a pus ca caterpillar. So he didn't know what the result was. The guy was going into an epileptic seizure. So Dr. Klenner gave him a, a, a couple of an IV of uh, norepinephrine. This compounded the problem. Then he gave him 15 grams of vitamin C and instantly it reversed the energy and he was okay again. Okay, what happens if a rattlesnake bites you? Bam! Chiari in the body, right? So huge amounts of vitamin C will release that. You got a heroin problem, right? Huge amounts of vitamin C will get you off heroin without having all the withdrawal symptoms. All right? You drive down a, uh, the freeway for more than eight minutes behind a Greyhound bus or any kind of vehicle that puts out an exhaust. Immediately you get carbon monoxide poisoning. Why? Because the body, the hemoglobin, the red blood cell, will pick up carbon monoxide 200,000 times faster than it will oxygen. The first effect of that is, bam, mental apprehension. You get wired mentally, followed by mental letdown, and then lack of motivation. So we came out with flash oxidized, flax oxidized vitamin C, where you use enzymes, amino acids, and herbs to bring it into the system rapidly. That's one, those are the kinds of things that we did. 1973, I wrote a book. It's around here somewhere. It didn't fall down. Called Death of Ignorance. It's over here. Okay, here it is. I work with the American Lung Association writing this book. Betty Lee Morales wrote the foreword in it. This book teaches you about negative ionization. This inspired another book called The 
the, the ion effect written by Soya. As a result, you see ion generators all over the place. Well, this book was the beginning of the ion generator field in this country. What we did is we took the European research and brought that to public domain. That means that people in the public began to become aware of previous works done by other professionals. Until that time, nobody had done anything. Then we developed, but then we saw ion generators. We saw these cheap and dirty ion generators coming out. So then instantly we saw the uh, walls getting dirty and all this kind of thing. So we developed electrostatic air filtration systems. Then we added electrode filters, which would get out the radioactive dust. The Global 2000 report over here says, look, it says radioactive debris today from the radiation that we're producing when radioactive isotopes and nuclear reactors have half-lives five times longer than recorded history of life. Can you imagine that? That includes the entire everything. That means that one billion years from now, you'll have radioactive waste on this planet buried in the ground. Now, that's really good for your, 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 your descendants or your children's children. Okay? So these are the kinds of things we've done. Now I'm doing some research on a machine called the X1 healing machine. And that is what we, that's what's called molecular transformation. That means if you have a slice on your hand, you put it in this machine, and the slice of cut is gone. The person that started this concept, believe it or not, started the National Health Federation, Fred Hart and Thomas Coulson. They had a machine back in the 40s that was called the Depot Array. It was capable of almost doing what the X1 is capable of doing today. And when the FDA came in, the federal government came in and discovered this machine, they destroyed it, right? They had to destroy it. Why? Because it threatened the drug industry. One out of four Americans today has something to do with automobiles. Yet the cancer industry is eight times bigger than the automotive industry in this country. In Europe, it's a laughing stock. The American, the American medical with the drug thing covering up the problem. You know, you got to go to the sim not to the symptoms, but the cause, the roots. So education takes you to the roots. This little thing I drew on the board is the roots. You've got to understand roots, you know. You start growing a tree, right? You study the roots. You put the minerals in the ground so the tree can grow or a crop can grow. That's the basic, you know, understanding of life itself. There's some other questions here. I need to cover questions. Yes. relationship. See, first of all, you got to understand what the pyramid has in it that, that we don't have. There are there's things called vitamins in the air. These are called etheric vitamins. One of these is called the vitality globule. The absence of the vitality globule is between the hours of about 2 o'clock in the morning and about 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the morning. During this time, you have the largest amount of natural deaths, okay, taking place during this time. Then you look at the vitality factor of the earth. And this occurs during the December, January, and February parts of the year. This is when we, north of the equator, will receive less sunlight, metabolize less vitamin D, less calcium, have more heart failures, and get less vitality globules. Okay? The pyramid, because it does grow a plant in total darkness, is a source of the vitality globules. However, in some cases, like in plants, they don't have the bile systems that a pyramid needs to process all of the seven levels of energy that comes through a pyramid. So a plant will behave a little differently. What we have done in the case of plants, we have grown plants with pyramid-treated water. In the case of a human being, when you put one of these pyramids on, after you wear it for four or five hours, you may go through a very strong detoxifying action because the pyramid has the ability to clean out all the sludge that starts building up at the base of the brain, the cerebellum, which eventually goes to the forebrain, giving you a lack of balance all the way to senility. In the middle, it shuts down the endocrine system, and you start having all these anemic problems and allergy problems. The pyramid breaks that part down, and you have to take vitamin C with it. The reason that the brain starts building up all this garbage is because hemoglobin, the red blood cell, has 576 amino acids in it, laid out in four strings called alpha chains and beta chains, and it goes like a rotor rooter through your arteries. And if you study the arterial size going from the lungs to the brain, the arteries size from the, the, the arteries come from the lungs to the aorta, to the heart, up the corroded into the brain. They're very large. 
as soon as the arteries get inside the brain, the brain acts like a strainer. So all of this sludge starts to strain out and clog up the brain. When you put the pyramid on, you're like hammering, and all this stuff starts to release. So all this garbage then goes down to the liver, where it's filtered out through the urinary tract, through the kidneys. The liver can only handle so much, so you get a headache, so you just take it off. We call it the friendly headache syndrome. Now, the only other way that we've been able to enhance that is oral chelation. I've developed some oral...